Grease trap legislation could soon be signed into law. It's called Bryce's Law, named after a three-year-old boy who died after falling into a grease trap. Carmela Boykin is live with an update on this legislation. Good morning, Carmela. <laughs> Good morning, Leah. I'm live outside the Tim Hortons on University Avenue, where two years ago, three-year-old Bryce Rayner fell into a grease trap and died. In response, Assemblyman Harry Bronson co-wrote Bryce's law. Bronson says that having a protective cover over grease traps has no, excuse me, only has benefits. An easy thing for businesses to do. This is not going to be a burden on businesses at all. It's common sense um, to have those safety covers on, to have them secure, and to have them made out of material that a young child will not fall through. A safety cover with precautions, like needing a wrench to open, and having an adult present whenever the cover is off. Bronson owns the coffee shop Equal Grounds and says having a protective cover over the grease trap isn't a hindrance. So, so it's not going to have an adverse impact on businesses. It's going to have a tremendous impact on making sure that our, our young people, our young children are safe. Bronson says the bill has passed both in the New York State Assembly and in the Senate, and it will reach the governor's desk this summer. Reporting in Rochester, Carmela Boykin, News 8. All right, Carmela, thank you for that. The Monroe County Legislature passed a law to regulate grease traps in September back of 2019, shortly after Bryce's death.